What it do, what it do, what it do It's your boy Mega Boss Trucker I'm here in uh, Irvin, Texas Right outside of Dallas And um, This is for some of my uh, Friends out there Who's uh, training Who's in training Excuse me, I had to put a little Carmex on my lips cause It's that time of year Anyhow So um, Just to help you guys out with um, backing, getting underneath your trailer. When you're hooking up, when you're coupling up to your trailer, uh, oftentimes, you guys drop your airbags or maybe you don't drop your airbags and the trailer, when you go pick it up from the shipper or receiver, wherever you're dropping the hooking from, some idiot let the landing gear all the way down. So the dollies are all the way down. The dolly legs is all the way down. The trailer is sitting up high. And you guys don't notice it. Or don't know what a trailer looks like when it's sitting up too high. So. In this instance, I'm going to This trailer is not sitting up too high. However, I'm just going to go through the steps and show you what it looks like. When you back underneath the trailer. Now. When I get ready to couple to a trailer. I back underneath it, I got my hazard lights on, and I dump my airbags. That's what this is right here. That's why that light is illuminated, because I got my airbags dumped. I'm up under the trailer now, and I'm going to show you what it looked like uh, when before you actually get the, whole, the fifth wheel completely underneath the trailer. This is where you want to stop it. So I'm going to raise my airbags up. And if you can see in my window, in my mirror over there, the position that I'm in, you might not be able to see it, but uh, if you can, that's my position. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we get outside. Here we go. Now I'm picking up a loadout trailer. and an issue with the trailer that I have. So I'm using the trailer from one of the brokers. Now, this is what it one you want. This is what you want it to look like when you back underneath the trailer. Okay, this is how you want it to look. You want this tire to be lined up. I went on, I went on a little bit too far, but I know what I'm doing. However, if you see the the fifth wheel plate is sticking out and it's not completely, it hasn't touched the kingpin yet. We're not even close to it. However. You want your third axle right there. That's one, two, and three. You want your third axle right about here or where it's at right now. If you can see that, I stand back a little bit so you can see how it look. Okay? That's how you want your third axle to look. And this is the way it should look underneath the trailer. Bring it over a little bit so maybe you can see it. It's kind of dark. All right. That's the position you want yourself in. You stop there. That's what it looks like. Fifth wheel plate should be halfway underneath the trailer, half out sticking out okay no I'm not halfway in there but that's good right there if you stop right there that's good right there because again your kingpin is not close to the fifth wheel plate yet fifth wheel plate kingpin all right you got your hazard lights on you see them blinking So when you get ready to hook up your electrical cable and your air hoses and stuff, you already know, your lights is on. Let's do it. Hold on a second. There we go. Now I'm gonna slide on up underneath it. What I do is when I get ready to go underneath a trailer, I dump my airbags and then I slide underneath it and I stop right there and then I, fill my airbags back up like you just seen 
in the beginning of the video. Release my, my parking brakes, I slide back. I don't know if y'all hear, but that's that little click. Guys, you don't have to speed back and jam your fifth wheel into the kingpin. All you just need to do is ease off the clutch enough for your trunk to roll back slowly and let it click in, not slam in, all right? Now we're gonna get back out and we're gonna take a look and see what it looks like now. Let me get my, let me get my gloves. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up these hoses while I'm back here, dig? All right. Hold on a sec. See where we at now? Perfect. And this is the reason why you want to have an inch, an inch or two between the landing gear and the ground. So that way, when you get underneath the trailer, when you get underneath the trailer and you dump your airbags, ignore. When you back underneath the trailer, sorry G-Ball, but I'm filming this video real quick. I'm gonna get right back at you. But like I was saying, when you get underneath the trailer, when you dump your airbag, slide underneath the trailer. After you get out and you make sure that your fifth wheel is in place and all of that stuff, and you know, you lined up, you're not gonna go past the, the, the kingpin with the fifth wheel and end up in a situation. Then you slide on, you fill your air, airbags up, and then you slide on back and lock the kingpin with the fifth wheel plate. When your airbags is completely filled, this is what it's gonna look like. Before you filled your airbags up, the landing gear was sitting on the ground. Once you got underneath it, you filled your airbags up, you slid in, so your fifth wheel plate locked into place, with the king, the kingpin locked in with the fifth wheel plate, the locking jaws, you're good to go. You walk around, you do your PTI, in which I already did this. I kick the tires, when I use my hammer, I got a hammer to do all this because I don't like kicking them. Right now I'm at UPS. And I'm picking up a loadout trailer going to South Holland. I'm here in Dallas. Let's just do a double check on the inside of the trailer to make sure it's clean. It's ready to be used. Okay. See that? Clean trailer. No holes. Air vents. Good to go. And I'll do another video for all the new guys that's out there with their own authority, and they don't have a trailer, how to make some money, power only. I use, I'll do another video for that, all right? But for right now, we're checking this trailer out, UPS. This your boy, Mega Boss Trucker, Mega Transport. I'm out here, we making moves, baby. Y'all be safe out there on the road and get this money, all right? I'm out.